Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are going to open up a fuel rail and look at both fuel filters off of a 2014 F450 Power Stroke. All right, the reason that we're gonna open up the fuel rail, we're gonna look for Lisa Frank glitter paint, and we're gonna look at both fuel filters, the uh, upper engine filter and the lower filter. They are sitting on the table over there. And I haven't been inside the fuel rail yet. We're gonna do that together. I haven't emptied the fuel filter out. It's been sitting over there for three days. And like I said, this truck got a DCR pump put in it. So I just wanna take this apart because I haven't done a fuel rail on the channel yet. I've done CP4 pumps, but we haven't done a fuel rail. So we can look at what the inside of the fuel rail looks like. Um, and pull out the fuel pressure sensor. So without further ado, let's go over here to the table and let's get this thing taken apart. All right, here's the fuel rail. This is on the driver's side. This is the fuel pressure sensor. I got a jar. There's the lower filter. There's the engine upper filter. And then I have this pig mat here because when we take this out, we're gonna dump it and see if we get any glitter paint out of it. All right, so we, we need a crescent wrench, and I know the table is going to bounce. This vise is not bolted to this table. It actually goes on the table over there. But, and I'll show you. You're going to bounce here for a second, okay? Just letting you know. Bam. So, these are actually clocked one way. Let me hold that up so you can see it. I'm sorry. These are actually clocked one way. So that's why it's such a pain in the butt. You just replace the whole fuel rail because the fuel rail comes with it in there because if you try to just replace this, you're never going to get it right. So, so I don't dump any fuel out. I'm going to hold it up like this, pull the sensor out so we can look at the tip of the sensor, see if there's any indication of metal. Not really seeing anything on there. Let me rub it with my hand. Oh. Let's, let me do this. Set this back here so I don't spill anything. Let's find a clean spot on, on my glove right there. Ooh, dark. It's dark. Look down in the fuel rail. All right, let's uh, let's tilt you guys downward so you can look at it. Okay, uh, let me get a rag. Let me find a rag. There's one. Tilt you guys down. All right, I'm gonna try to dump it out right here. Ready? We're going to see if anything turns silver pasty looking. Let's find a clean spot on my finger. Pinky clean. There's a little bit right there, right there. Yeah, silver ring. Mmm. So it looks like there's some silver in there. And that's about all of it. This is the fuel pressure. Yeah. Wipe my hand off. There's a clean spot right there on my thumb. Yeah. That's not supposed to be in there. Those are real fine metal particles. Look at that. And those aren't supposed to be in there. Here is the upper fuel filter. And it's, uh, it's kind of dumped in there. 
let's take a look inside here and see. See what we can see. Oh, there's a piece of metal. Oh, let me get my light. Let me get a light. Not supposed to be any metal at all. None whatsoever. Sorry, that was loud. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? There was a piece of metal. There it is. Right there at the tip of my thumb. Let's see if there's any more. Let's see if I can find some more metal. Sorry, that was loud. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but not supposed to be any kind of debris. And then I have the upper peel filter. We're going to dump it into that jar right there. So there was a piece of metal. Let's go this way. There's a piece. Surprisingly, this thing was still running before we put the DCR in. And I don't have the old fuel pump. Is there anything down in there? Yep. Look at this a little bit closer. Oh, yeah. Right on the end. Let's see if I can get something to point it that way. <laughs> there was a piece, some debris, right on the end of this thing. There, we'll scoot that back. See all that shiny, 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 shiny right at the tip of the screwdriver, shiny, pieces of metal, there's metal, there's metal, it's all around it. So there's a chunk right there. All right, so there's that, here. Let's dump out the fuel filter. See what it looks like. And yes, this is a clean jar. Um, I know it looks dirty, that's just the outside of it, for me handling it, but it is a clean, I cleaned it out. Wonder if there's any metal or floaties inside here. Empty up. Empty in the filter. Empty the filter. Making a filter. I know you guys seen that. Biodome. See anything? Oh, 
You guys see all that stuff floating around in there? Let's look. Oh. There's a uh, I don't know if you can see my yeah you can see my finger at the bottom but there's some chunk of metal under that screwdriver you see the screwdriver down there chunk of metal right there chunk of metal over here there's one right there there's one over here if you back up on the side So yeah, it's it had metal in it. Let's look at the end of the fuel rail again. Kind of a a hazy tint inside there. That's just metal flake. So it did have metal in the system. It does have a new DCR pump. A little more metal in the system. All right, you can see it had like that silver tint to it. That's really, really small, fine metal particles that is in the diesel fuel, which is inside the fuel rail. Those particles then go down inside the fuel injectors and it just clogs up the entire system. Um, it gets sent back to the fuel tank, the upper filter or the lower filter, you can see some of those metal particles in there. And uh, that's just the catastrophic failure of a CP4. Actually, that one's not bad. I've seen them where there were metal chunks. And those are just a few metal chunks inside there that we did see. And then the upper filter, when I poured it into the jar, you could see some metal floating around in there. None of that stuff's supposed to be there. But uh, it was fun taking that fuel pressure control valve out, or fuel pressure, yeah, fuel rail pressure sensor, excuse me, uh, to let you guys see that. And, and that's pretty cool. So I love you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.